starting now. Hello, Laura. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? We're okay. We're okay. We're managing. How's Eric Cantona? This is this is my dog, Eric, down here. Uh, yeah, I wasn't so if asking. Snorting and farting during this. It might be me. It might be Eric. Okay, we've all been at home for a long time. I need that. I need. I, I need to that alibi. I need to get yeah, a dog. No, and uh, I know Rob from working on Gavin and Stacey with him. Yes, me and Laura met. Uh, it's probably coming up to about a year ago now, isn't it? Summer last year when we filmed. Yeah. Oh, remember last summer? Oh, we were outside. Summer. <laughs> we could go outside and we Working. could, and not just in somebody else's garden. No. Oh, yeah, which from, we were allowed to do now. We're allowed yeah. to. Yeah, have you stood in a garden with anyone else yet not, today? Not, no, not okay. I've just been standing in my neighbour's garden. Have you been? Have you done it? <laughs> no. No. Um, I look forward to. But does it mean that you can just go and stand in anyone's garden? I think you still need their permission. <laughs> Because, I mean, I did that anyway. That was my hobby anyway, standing in my neighbour's garden. Right. Anyway, moving on. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So, yeah, we met on Gavin and Stacey. And I think, what was the last time we saw each other? at Probably oh, being slightly that? awkward at an awards do. Yeah. Would it, we went to, a, we had, did get to go to a few glitzy events, didn't we? we? Did, which was quite new for me and for you. And me, yeah. I wasn't very good at it, was I? I kept sort of just leaving early because I felt uncomfortable. Going around and Laura would be gone. A cloud of dust. Yeah. I can only the best one was when we an hour in high heels and then I'm gonna go. It ended up me and you, we were at the National Television Awards, weren't we? Wandering around trying to find anyone that we knew. Yeah, and we didn't know anyone. We didn't, so, so we just went home. Left. It was really glamorous. Yeah, so glamorous. People were asking me for good stories after that and I, I was struggling. I, I was convinced there was, a, there was a separate party with all the actual yeah, and famous people. And like the rest of our cast, maybe that were at. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they all they all went as well. We sat near Richard and Judy. For the awards we did. Was very exciting. Sat in front of Richard and Judy. Yeah, but, we could which means row. we were better Not than unserved, them. But... And Michael Palin was on our row. That was the most excited I got. That was exciting, yeah. And, and I should say, I had a brilliant time on Gavin and Stacey being one of your guests. It was a brilliant experience. It was wonderful. So it was all. It's all. That feels like a very long time ago now, doesn't it? That whole kind of yeah. it going out at Christmas and everyone going mad. Yeah. So yeah, we just need another one now, please, Ruth and James. Yeah, we we're not we haven't got anything to announce. There's there's no no, no, if, no yes, one's tuned no in one's told us. That's not no no. But we're here because of the lovely Abby Wright, who's asked us to um to to entertain the nation. And seeing as things are just so terribly depressing at the moment, we thought we'd do something really silly and Very then silly. hopefully take everyone's mind off current affairs for a little bit. So basically, we're just going to tell, tell some jokes for a bit, literally tell some jokes. We're not comedians. Mm -mm. Um, and um, that, may became, that may become very apparent as, as we yeah. go on. So we're going to start with jokes that are written by children Yes. Because of Rob's obsession. Yes. Now, yes. Uh, um, uh, uh, me, both me and Abby, who runs uh, Taproom Theatre, we are both slightly obsessed with this online account called Kids Write Jokes, um, which is fairly self explanatory. So it's jokes written by children and sent in. Um, and I just think they're the most wonderful things. Oh, uh, sensational. I mean, I. I've got a collection of my favourites from the page and some of them just make absolutely no sense and I think they're yeah. the best ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There are ones that make no sense and there are, there are lovely ones where they're trying to attempt like a joke format. Quite a lot of poo. Quite a lot of poo. Yeah. Quite a lot of monkeys I was finding as well. I was scrolling yeah. through and going back through some of the ones that I'd kind of re-shared on my Facebook page, because that's all I do on my Facebook page is share. Oh, yeah, I don't have Facebook, so. You're probably, it's probably good. This um, was to me. Although this, this is going out on Facebook, so. I was also up. reading these out to my husband yesterday, laughing so much at myself reading them, and he didn't laugh once, so I don't know if anyone's going to enjoy this. 
know. This is the kind of experiment. And the great thing is, we, we won't know. No. We won't know. We won't know if nobody laughs. I hope you enjoy it. If not, I'm sure we're going to laugh quite a lot. So come do you on want then, Laura. to go back and forward? Should we just challenge each other? Let's, let's, let's just yeah. go. Okay, let's just go. Let's go, go back and forth. Kid, jokes written by kids from the Kids Write Jokes page. Laura, go. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, why are chickpeas called chickpeas? I don't know why chickpeas called chickpeas. Because they hatch from eggs. <laughs> Brilliant. How do you tell the difference between an Indian and, Af and an African ele elephant? I don't know. Different heights. <laughs> uh, what's a zebra? I don't know. It's a normal horse. Uh, this is a favourite, this is a particular favourite of mine. It's just one word, dogs. <laughs> that's, the that's the joke. Dogs. Okay, Hello. go, go, Laura. What, <laughs> what did the blackberry say after its first bath? I don't know. Glub, 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 because he's still in the water, you know? <laughs> beautiful. Uh, where do skeletons live? Don't know. The bone house. Makes sense. Knock knock. Who's there? Aren't you glad I said orange? <laughs> <laughs> Three dippy eggs roll into a bar and order some beers. The barman says, I'm calling the police. <laughs> I love it. Hold on, I've lost my jokes. Hold on, where are we? There we go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Papaya. Papaya who? <laughs> you want some poop on your papaya? <laughs> oh, dear. What does Peter Rabbit eat? I don't know. Mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, mayonnaise. That's what Peter Rabbit eats. What do you call a baby goose? Oh, sorry, a boy goose. I don't know. Sir. <laughs> uh, this is great entertainment. Uh, this is up there in one of my favourites. Why did the crab go to prison? I don't know. Crimes. <laughs> um, what's, what's pink and hangs up your pyjamas? I don't know. Your mother. <laughs> uh, why is... Sometimes the spelling's wrong as well. So this is, I'm reading out in the format of the joke. Okay. Why is dates is eaten on dates? <laughs> because it is. Answer, dates. <laughs> okay. oh, I think Eric liked that one. Eric's getting into shot. <laughs> oh. um, what? What's in a basement? I don't know. A washing machine! <laughs> Uh, what's big what's big brown and weird i don't know a poo on roller skates <laughs> how do you make toast i don't know you put it under a gorilla bottom <laughs> oh dear oh dear i hope everyone's enjoying this as much as we are probably not um What's brown and hairy and likes to go on holiday? I don't know. A coconut on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> um, why did the dog go out without, hang on. Why did the dog go out without a chicken hat or a poo hat? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because he wore a poo chicken hat with Easter eggs. Uh, continuing the egg theme. What do you call eggs from space? <laughs> UF eggs. <laughs> um, why did the sponge eat the pasta? I don't know. Because there was no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Here we go. <laughs> A monkey danced. Why? <laughs> to impress girls. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, simple as that. What did the chicken say to the chicken? I don't know. It's a hot day. <laughs> uh, that's really true. It is a hot day. 
knock knock. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm still, I didn't. Know. I didn't what? Uh, knock knock. Who's there? Eleanor. Eleanor who? It's John. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's John. It wasn't Eleanor at all. What do you call a snail without a shell? I don't know. It's dead. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Uh, this this is a multiple choice one. Okay. <laughs> what is inside the book of time? A beans. <laughs> B your butt. C a cactus. Or D the world. There's no answer. That's just the, <laughs> you can choose one. <laughs> you can choose one of those. But what is inside the book of time? So beans, that's your four butt, jokes or, because you could just four jokes, four jokes in one. Four jokes in one. Okay. Oh um, my goodness. Thing is, if we move from these onto actual real jokes, I well, don't think look terrible in compared to these. I think I've got, I've got maybe a couple more. Um, yeah. Who farted on the cow's head? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the dog farted on it and it stunk, and it made the cow pass out for three years and two months. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Um. Is there a baker under your bed? No. Have you ever checked? No. And how do you know there isn't a baker under your bed? Okay. Oh. Uh, why did the cheese cross the road? I don't know, Laura. Get to the invisible neighbor and the neighbor is a cat, but cats don't like cheese. <laughs> oh. I really hope this is cheering up, cheering up the nation, I think. I think people will be in hysterics and writing yeah. them down as well. What did the watermelon do on holiday? I don't know. He broke his leg. <laughs> um, knock, knock. Oh, who's there? A ladybug. A ladybug who? A ladybug. I just said that. <laughs> I think I might have that one in my list. Uh, what? What's yellow and dangerous? I don't know. A lion with machine guns for claws. It's true. It's actually, it? That actually works. It was subvert. You think it's going to be shark infested custard? It's not. It's a lion with no. machine guns for claws. I think this might be my last one of the. Oh. Knock knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? For eating. <laughs> <laughs> um, where does the bat keep its money? I don't know. Picture frames. <laughs> I've got quite a few more. I'm going to do a few more. Yeah, you go. Waiter, why is my steak really muscly? Cows walk everywhere and so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Waiter, why is my steak really muscly? Well, cows walk everywhere, and so they have strong, muscly bodies. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? I'm. I'm who? I'm selling things like beauty creams. They will make you beautiful. Can I come in? Oh. How old is Jeff? I don't know. 21 and his dad is 69. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's another multiple choice one. Hold on. Which, uh, which answer is bigger than other? A, an elephant. <laughs> two, a moon. Three, a donkey. My answer, number one. <laughs> oh, a oh, couple more, a couple more. Who is a penguin's favourite relative? I don't know. Your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm about to stop there for a minute because that is just, I'm quite sweaty now. I'm quite sweaty actually, yeah. <sighs> but I think your dad would be a penguin's favourite relative. Mm, I don't know, he's quite tricky. <laughs> a stunt man, your dad, if I remember that rightly, or was he well, an ex stunt, stunt man. man? Well, yeah, he was a stunt man. He's an old man now. He's, he's still alive. He's still alive. I don't mean an ex. Stunt man, is no, it? No, he still he still exists. He still on exists. The world in the world, God. 
Um, but uh, not as a stuntman. But he is currently putting up a fence. So he's very active. Oh, okay. So everyone knows. Yeah. Do, you, do you Zoom call your, your parents? Oh, God. We have done a bit, but no one's got anything to say. That's the thing. Yeah. I ring my I ring my mum and it's just like well, what's been happening in your week and it's just kind of like no, yeah nothing. She tells me about what she's been eating. Yeah, my mum be like, oh Donna's cut her own fringe, and I'm like, who's Donna? I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> but you have to engage. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm trying to avoid too much contact with my family. Um, That's the spirit. <laughs> or anyone really. That's keeping us keeping us going. Mm. Yeah. Uh, should we do some jokes? Should we do Have some real back? jokes? Yeah. Real jokes. Hold well on. Have I got any more? I, 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 I think I've still got a few more of these, but I might maybe come back to those at the end. Come back to them at the end, yeah. Because they're amazing. Hold well, on. Now I fail, then you can go back to the kids. Yeah, because I think that, uh, yeah, are they funnier than real jokes? I would argue yes. Because something, something that we've been doing that my daughter is nine and she's been doing uh, we've been doing a thing every day where she sends she sends a joke of the day to her friends um uh she records it on whatsapp and sends it over and it's been right. a fun little thing that we do um but they've been real jokes from actual joke books and do they send one back yeah some oh. do and some we've got some friends who do and some send um one friend who sends like a silly dance and that's been going on for weeks We've gone through. We've gone through the um, the Harry Hills whopping joke book. Oh yeah, seems like a plug. Uh, yeah. And um, available in all good bookshops. Yeah, is that part of homeschooling? Yeah, that is homeschooling basically. That's the level One we're at. One joke a day, we're done. One joke a day. It's reading. It's it's delivery. It's yeah. Brain engagement. And that. Is and another thing we like to do is um put on um a book that so you know the kind of funny book no what funny book thing what's a um book? so we tell a joke and then do and then i say i do what have you been reading today and she oh say, the, the title get of rich the quick. Book by... yeah. yeah get rich quick by robin banks yes or, i have um, a few of these yeah so i love those so what, let's do some of those yeah how do you feed your dog by nora bone yeah <laughs> <laughs> So bad. Greek dips by humus. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of exercise do lazy people do? Diddly squats. Oh. I don't know if diddly's really a name. Is that a name? I don't. I, don't I think that's a cheat, really, isn't it? <laughs> My daughter is waving to me now. Off, off she got do one. To come on, do you want to come on and say some jokes? Yes, come on. Yeah. Hold on. This is Ida. Hiya. Hi. Have you got some good jokes? Um, Do you want to tell your favourite joke, the one you told me earlier? So, uh, there's a girl and she goes up to her teacher and she goes, Miss, can I go to the toilet? And her teacher says, first, can you recite the alphabet? So she goes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, L, M, N, O, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And then her teacher says, Where's your pee? And she says, halfway down my leg, miss. <laughs> hey. That's a good one. That's, That's a favourite good... joke. Have you come in to ask me anything? No. No, you're just coming to you're just coming to crash my my live my, my live Facebook moment. Are you off? Yeah. Bye. That was Ida's favourite joke. Which I was gonna tell. Okay. That's Laura. I can see your name. <laughs> she can see your name. Oh yeah, well. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, oh. we do that, and we do a book. Yes, I like oh, diddly oh, squats. Book. Yeah, does that really work? Oh. Okay, hold on. Uh, Greek dips part two by Tara Musolata. Good. Nice. Uh, Flowers in bloom by Teresa Green. Oh, I've got one. Garden weeds by Dan D. Lion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the middle initial. Actually, that's good. Uh, yeah. How to get good at computer games by Joystick. Hey, hey. <laughs> we haven't heard that one. Um, the Diet of a Tudor King by Henrietta Lott. Which is clever. That's a clever it's one. Because clever. It's historical. It's not yeah. clever. That's a good one. Um, oh, I think I'm done with oh, my book names. 
I've got some that we've made up ourselves. This is my, my girlfriend Lucinda made this up and she wanted it to be very clear that it was credited to her. Okay. Made up these two, these are her two favorites. Uh, Living in Dover by Francis Close. Francis oh, Close. Oh, clever again. And, and one of my favorites, um, uh, being, a, being a member of a pack. Oh no, I've got it wrong. Oh God. Oh, have you blown the punch She's though? never gonna forgive me. Um, Oh God, I, I thought I could remember it. Hold on, hold on. This is this the is problem it. with jokes. It's very hard to remember them. Living in a pack by Wolfgang member. You're a Wolfgang member. You don't hear a lot of oh. people called Wolfgang, but it is a name. But, but, but it, it is a name. It works. So, she gets Greek it. Dips Part 3 by Tad Ziki. There are so many Greek dip books. I wonder how many recipes are in each book. Considering. Carrying on the Greek, yeah, I know. <laughs> Carrying on the Greek theme, Greek baking by Peter Bread. These are good. These are good. And chickpea recipes by Phil Affle. I can tell you've been at home school. You see, whereas I've done, done, done a lot of these. We've done a lot of these. I decided to. I, I'm. I made up. A, I made. I made up a slightly rubbish topical one today. Do you want my rubbish topical yeah. one? Uh, Driving to Test Your Eyesight by Bernard Castle. <laughs> Did bit you of satire see there, a bit of politics. Yeah. Did you see Have I Got News For You? Uh, I didn't know. So they said in Have I Got News For You, Barney Castle, like Barney Castle is actually slang for like a load of rubbish. Oh yes, yeah, so it's like a rubbish excuse, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you couldn't make it up. No. But let's not talk too let's much. Let's not. Oh, one more. Um, Week. One more, one more joke. One more slightly topical one. When lockdown is finished, by Gladys Over. Oh, won't we be? Ida just shouted, "That one's mine." She made that one up. You're taking credit for. Well done, Ida. Yeah. Shut I've up. got some regular jokes, but that aren't book names. Okay. Yeah. Some. Let's have some. Let's have some regular jokes from Laura Aikman. Have you got some as well? Yeah. Good. Okay. Right, that two turtles are having a chat. <laughs> and one says to the other, Do you find when it rains your mouth fills up with water? And the other one says, Nope. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's a good yeah. word. I didn't uh, know that word. <laughs> oh, with like voices and everything. Yeah, that was made quite a uh, I um I recently rehomed a dog. I got him from the local ironmongers, and as soon as I made him home, he oh no, I've got it wrong already. Oh, oh Jesus! God. Oh God, Rob. Oh God! At least yeah. you know. At least we're proving yeah. this is happening live. Um, I got a do Laura. Yeah. I rehomed a dog recently. Oh yeah. From the local blacksmith. Right. Uh, and as soon as I got him home, he made a bolt for the door. It wasn't worth waiting for, was it? Uh, kind of. Uh, I should have written. Uh, I've just written down kind of like ones that I think will, will help me remember the joke, like little words. Little key. Instead of the actual whole, whole joke. joke. Not that clever. Yeah. Uh, okay. People Go. in Dubai don't watch the Flintstones, but people in Abu Dhabi do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I like it. Uh, what's What's white and wriggles across the floor? I don't know. Come dancing. A bit rude. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Sorry. A bit rude. It took me a minute, didn't it? Uh, I was like, what? Yeah. Strictly come dancing. What are you talking about? No. Uh, okay. Uh, why do elephants have big ears? You know. I don't know. Come on, you do know. I do know this one because Noddy won't pay the ransom. That's it. <laughs> uh, there were these two cats, Laura. Uh, one cat was called One Two Three, and the other cat was called Un De Trois. Right. And both of them swam the English Channel. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three made it, but un de trois cat sank. <laughs> Beautiful. Good. That's good. Yeah. Um, okay, so an elephant says to a mouse, why am I so big and strong and you're so small and weak? And the mouse says, well, I believe, well, oh, I ruined it. <laughs> the mouse says, well, I've been ill, haven't I? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, what's the difference between a smart dressed man and a dog? 
I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the man wears a suit and the dog pants. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah. Uh, what do you do if you see a spaceman? Uh, parking it, man. <laughs> yeah. This is my favourite joke when I was about nine. Okay. That's uh, my joke to qualify for that. Yeah. This is a visual joke to, to broaden it out. Uh, why doesn't the Queen wave with this hand? I don't know. Because it's mine. <laughs> Oh, I've got a hand one. Oh, go. Uh, why did the baker have smelly hands? I don't know. Because he needed a poo. <laughs> <laughs> Another hand one. What's this? What's this? <laughs> Urgh. 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 <laughs> I don't know. It's a vicious circle, Laura. <laughs> you oh want to come up? Hold on. We've got more jokes. We've got another nine-year-old joke. Yeah, come on. Go. Okay. What's this? I don't know. Two butterflies with hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> and she's off again. I'm stop. Comes in like a wow, joke world. Steal it and go. Uh, um, oh, this is the kind of crap corona-ish one. Did you hear there's going to be a round of applause for delivery drivers? No. It's going to be sometime between nine and five tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Um, how do you find, how do you find Will Smith in a snowy wood? I don't know. You look for the fresh prints. I liked it. Yeah, it's good. Um, um, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I was going for a walk at the weekend and I saw yeah. a busker playing Dancing Queen on the didgeridoo. And I thought to myself, that's Aboriginal. <sighs> no, it's not good. Oh dear. I think I've run out. You okay, hold on. What else have I got? Oh, I got I got some of my friends to text me some jokes. Mm -hmm. Hold on. These are some of my friends' favourite jokes. Okay, I don't uh, have friends if I didn't do this. Two monkeys in a bath. One goes, hoo, 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 and the other one goes, well, put some cold water in then. We don't know that one. It's classic. Good. Absolute classic. Man goes to the doctor with a penguin on his head. Uh, the doctor says, how can I help you? And the penguin says, you can start by getting this man off my foot. <laughs> Um, uh, who's the coolest guy at the hospital? I don't know. The ultrasound guy. <laughs> who's the second coolest guy at the hospital? I don't know. The hip replacement guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hip. Love it. Um, what's brown and sounds like a bell? I don't know. Dung. <laughs> what? Dung. Oh, dung. Dung. Oh, I just thought you were making it sound like a bell. I didn't get it. I didn't get no, it. No, no, no. Uh, two elephants fell off a cliff. Boom, boom. That's it. It's good. It's not really a joke. Hold on. There's E.T. there. Mm. I might know this one. Is it about know, this, isn't, this isn't the joke. This... About E.T.? No. It, it, this, isn't, this isn't the joke. This, my daughter just brought this in. But what, what, uh, what's E.T. short for? Because he's got little legs. Yay! <laughs> I'm not going to repeat it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> what? Oh, any more, any more. Um, a man went to the doctor with a strawberry stuck up his bum, and the doctor said, I've got some cream for that. Cream. <sighs> Beautiful. How long have we been going for? I haven't, I haven't no noticed idea. the time. We've, d we've done brilliantly. But it's, been, it's been wonderful, hasn't it? I mean, I've, I'm having a great time. I'm, I'm having, having a great time, and I, I think we're single-handedly helping, helping <sighs> the public. Uh, there is a thing you can donate to, isn't it? I suppose we should mention that. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't know. If you enjoying our terrible jokes, yeah. donate. If you've enjoyed this or uh, haven't enjoyed it, you can still yeah. donate. Kind of get donate out of protest, get like really angry. Yeah, because uh, whether you enjoyed it or not, it's still a great cause. Feel so like it's, it's yeah. for PPE equipment, right? Is that right? Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Well, let's say it is. I think that's what it's for. It's for the. I think it's. I think it's. The, I think it's for something important like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, should we do? Should I, should I find a couple more kids' jokes to finish this off? Yeah, unless, yeah. unless Abby thinks we should go even longer. It's the, Abby's just told me it's the COVID nineteen urgent appeal. There you go. 
It is urgent, bloody hell. It is urgent. Have you done any um, volunteering or anything, Rob? Actually, uh, I don't know how to talk about it. I've been doing, there's been a local thing where um, every Friday night there's been, uh, they've been giving out hot meals to um, key workers and vulnerable people. So I've been delivering those on a Friday evening. Oh, cool. Have you got um, a car? Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, this, it, would be, it would be quite hard with that, without the yeah, car. Yeah, well, we don't have a car, so, yeah. yeah. No, you're in London though, aren't you? You're in London. Yeah. So I've been ringing old people, but that's it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It is fun, actually. I'm ha I get some great stories. Anything you can repeat now? No. They're not that great. Um, no, okay. <laughs> that's lovely, though. But yeah, it's nice. I know, it's just, like, again, just to feel like you're doing, you're yeah. doing something. So what do you just go and pick the meals up from somewhere and then... Yeah, it was first organised by a local pub and then a few other businesses have got involved. So they make about uh, like over 200 meals and then, there's, and then we, we just kind of... You drive up, they hand you a bag, it's got, a, it's got the name on it. You drive around, drop it off, knock oh, on the doorstep, right. stand back and say, enjoy, enjoy your dinner. And it's yeah. a hot meal. And it's not, yeah, it was, I think it started off as key workers and then some charities have got involved and it's been like families who've been struggling as well. So it's, um, that's great. It's been, it's been a, it's been a great thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I mean. That's what I've been doing. Some positives to come out of all some this. Positives. Mess, yeah. You yeah. hope that, you hope that there will be some positives, that there'll be some change coming out of it, but who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until that day, let's finish off. Yeah. If Abby thinks we've done enough, it feels like we've been on here for for ages. Yeah. I mean, Is there I'm anything bored of me by we want to give anything? To, uh, have we got any more Gavin and Stacey things we can talk about for the fans? Oh God. Just that it was fun to film. It was very fun. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've got any hilarious anecdotes from the uh, filming of the show. That night we went out for a drink was quite amazing, wasn't it? Where we ended up in Tiger Tiger. Yeah, James Corden really wanted to go to Tiger Tiger because he thought it would be very funny in a sort of ironic way. And he wanted it was to have a dance. The entire cast, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty much all of us. And um, we just got mobbed. We've never experienced yeah. anything like it before. It was sort of terrifying. And it was hilarious, but then it's, it was quite sort of um anxiety provoking as well because people were just trying to get through us to touch james touch james um, everyone wanted to touch james and people um, with their flashing cameras that's yeah that's what... and we were just all so you're like you're kind of blinded and the whole thing was probably about 30 minutes from start to finish but yeah um, it was, yeah quite the night and they had to get like the club security involved didn't they to kind of like make it yeah, like, like, a, outside, did they? Make, like a james corden corden and it was quite i think it was quite early on in the evening, so I'm not sure why people were even in Tiger Tiger yet. No, I, I think it was Friday night. There was, a, I think it was Friday night. There were, there was a lot of hen parties. Yeah, a lot of inflatable penises <laughs> and us. And us. Brightening the place up. Uh, I'm trying to think of other things. When we filmed that um, very long scene where Joe and Matt were lying on the sofa, yeah, they were asleep. Yeah, for that, that entire deep. day, they just slept on that sofa. Yeah, I just sat and I ate nuts all day. It was wonderful. Oh, yeah, you were, you were getting good snacks, weren't you? I didn't yeah. get any snack action. It was epic scenes, wouldn't they? We'd film like for like two days, some of these scenes. Yeah. But everyone was in good spirits. We were kept in very good spirits. Rob was doing a I'm lot live of on the internet. I don't, I don't know if I've got a pencil with the rubber. Is that a joke? No, okay. just, no, My daughter just... coming in asking me if I've got a pencil with a rubber. It's not a joke. <laughs> okay, just, just an just, urgent requirement. Ida coming in saying, have you got a pencil with a rubber? Yeah, so homeschooling, that's been fun. Anyway, let's not linger on COVID-19. Let's, should we, I've got, I've got a few more kids jokes that I didn't tell. Let's finish on a high. She got a pencil. She got one with a rubber. Let's finish on a high. Hold on, I've lost my thing now. And what are you up to with the rest of your night, um, Laura? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you do Joe Wicks. You're quite fit anyway. Joe Wicks is probably quite yeah, kind quite of basic to you. Wicks you were up a mountain earlier this year, weren't you? Which was so depressing because one of the main activities of my day is working out and walking the dog. Yeah. Do either of those because I'd hurt my shoulder so badly. But I have been doing Joe Wicks. I've been doing a lot of running. At the beginning, I was running like 
30k just to be out of the house which took me like three hours but I was just um you know the outside it's a kind of it's a kind of strange mix because I think I'm not particularly sporty active person um I do I used to go swimming but our swimming pool's closed so Joe Wicks has been really good I think have you guys been doing on one level pardon doing it are you doing the PE thing with Ida or not yeah, yeah yeah so we do that every morning and we've done it every morning and one of my favourite moments right. of the morning is, is the kind of look of contempt from our dog. She sits <laughs> on the stairs look, looking at us again, it's doing again. this nonsense. Uh, so I think on one level, I'm probably fitter than I've, I've been in a long time. But then I'm also probably eating more crisps than I've ever eaten. Oh, I'm eating all so I think crisps. I think it's negating <laughs> the two. I think more people are running as well. When I'm out running, I can yeah. really tell that. There's a lot of people that aren't regular runners out and about. And that feels positive. That feels like, well, you know. I worry about the news too much, Laura. We're all snacking on trees. We're all snacking. We're all drinking. We're all eating ice. I hope we're all eating ice cream. I'm eating a lot. Yeah, we are. I've got choc ice in the freezer. Um, So let's do a few more kids' jokes. Yeah. Um, Imagine if a ham fell off the Eiffel Tower. That's that one. (laughs) Um, how did the dog run fast? I don't know. Drink petrol. <laughs> oh, it's another poo one. Why did the poo cross the road? I don't know. Because he needed to find a toilet, so he did not have a baby poo in public. <laughs> um, who is a man? Me. I told it. I know. I think it I might work. I think it might still it. What did the toilet say to the robot? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there, was I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Asparagus. That's it. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> That's it. <laughs> knock, knock. Uh, right. Let's finish. Let's finish on a good one. Okay. What's a horse that's not a horse? I don't know. A small horse. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, there was one, there was one that was my favourite. It was my favourite of all time. Uh, Hold on, let's have a few more. How many yoghurts are there on a palm tree? Don't know. None, of course. (laughs) What do you call a penguin wearing a top hat? I don't know. I don't know, I was never taught that at school. (laughs) What did the cook wish for for Christmas? I don't know. A posh cooking hat. That's rather lovely, actually. That's just sort of sweet, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, we're, and uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay, who? Gordon Ramsay, professional chef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my favourite. Oh, well, thank you, Laura, for bringing joy to my life. Ah, yeah, I hadn't thought and, about that um, for maybe an hour. Uh, yeah, what time is it? It's the best part of an hour. I think that's probably enough, isn't it? Oh, God, that people will have had more than enough. <laughs> if anyone's still watching, thank you so much. Donate to the thing. Yeah, donate to the thing, please. Um, and... Yeah. Really and and chat. and take care of yourselves and each other, as Jerry Springer used as to Jerry say. As Jerry Springer would say, and yeah, maybe not following the footsteps of the Jerry Springer contestants. Though. Yeah. Oh, uh, all right, Laura. Bye bye. See you soon bye. in real life, hopefully. Thank you, and we'll say bye. Bye.